love the koala hold. It's so nice. It's so comfy. I can just give him a hug and he can feed. I, I love our garden. I, I love coming out into our garden to breastfeed. <laughs> it's just so nice in nature. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, whether it's morning, evening. Who doesn't love being in their garden? I really love our garden. Well, it's our communal garden, the building. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Oh, really love it. Yeah, it's Finding an upright chair to be actually more comfortable when you're in, sometimes, when you're in koala hold, sometimes out in the garden, because we've got the deeper cane chairs, but I actually think the upright chair is, this is a little, I don't know, it kind of gives us a bit more support when we're in koala hold. Mm -hmm. I really love you. I actually thought his hand there was his foot for a second. <laughs> I could feel pressure on my arm there and I looked down and it's his little hand. I actually thought it was his foot. <laughs> I thought it was your foot. But look, he's straddling my hip, my hips here. Aren't you? Look at your little feet here. And we got tissues with us. We got a bit of a cold.
for? Are you reaching for the back? He wants to stand up now. <laughs> That's pretty neat. You can feed and stand up and then feed a bit more. Yeah, there you go. Hey. It's good for kids to be out in the garden too. It's good for me to be out in the garden, away from my devices. I haven't brought my phone down here. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy nature. Like, it's actually good to be away from screens for a bit <laughs> and actually look at something green. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. You know, there's even a beautiful rose behind me and it's so gorgeous. I love that rose. <laughs> pose at the moment which is fine like this is comfy as well he's you know what I think he's tired because it is evening so he's tired and we've had a busy day today finger painting water play it's very busy when you're 15 months old you've got a lot to do lots of learning to do You know what, when you come off that boob, I think I'll give you a boob. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I think sometimes he would like to stand up and run off with my boob. <laughs> Toddlers especially have to accept that boobs are attached to the mum. <laughs> yeah, they're attached. <laughs> You can't pull it off, darling. You can't pull it off. <laughs> Come on. Let's have it. Let's, let's give you a burpee. You know, it's not going to go anywhere, darling. It's going to stay on mummy. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Come here. I'm going to give you a burpee. <laughs> Come on, Bertie. Hey. Oh, okay, we can put you on the other side. Come here. I think you're getting a bit tired, darling. I was thinking of taking him inside now and popping him in a lie down position, but I think he wants more milk now, so that's fine. You can have more milk now. But if he gets too tired, I'll bring him upstairs and we can finish the feed on the lie down pillow. Hey, I think you are tired. Plus, it's that time of year that the sun's actually setting quite quickly. You sort of think it's really light, and you come up here into the garden. Oh, it's because it's cloudy. And it is cloudy. It's cloudy, so it seems a bit darker. Look, he goes from boob to boob. And you know what babies do twiddle? They twiddle the other nipple. And I actually read a Healthline article on twiddling. And they think that, <laughs> it can, you know what, it can annoy mums though. Like the article did say that, that, that's, that you can. I mean, it sort of varies between, you know, it doesn't really bother you to, it can be mildly annoying. But um, it seems to be an evolutionary thing because Twiddling the nipple or any nipple stimulation basically can increase milk supply. So babies tend to do that as they get a little bit older. And, and the thought behind it is they do think it's an evolutionary adaptation that um, to increase milk supply as children get a little bit older. 
And so obviously the thought behind that was the, the babies or the children that learned that behaviour or, or developed that behaviour then got more milk and so there was a higher chance that they would survive and so then the behaviour would, would be passed on. Because the article that I read made a very good point. No one teaches them to do that and yet they all do do that. Or most of them do when they reach a certain age. And it, I think it usually starts from about six months. And yeah, Spencer, Spencer will do that. He'll reach for the other breast and reach for the other nipple. So they do think it's a it's a learn it's an evolutionary adaptation to increase milk supply, basically for them. Garden, darling. Oh, so nice here. I can't wait till he's running around. That's going to be so cute. <laughs> it won't be long. He's so close to walking. However, we have to be so careful with that water feature and the pool that is down here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to jump on the opportunity to give him a burpee and <laughs> joy I wear tent dresses this is not actually a nursing dress but it's a very easy access tent dress <laughs> it's perfect for feeding yeah, you like water. <laughs> 